Okay, so we are going to talk about cubes and rectangular prisms and okay, shh, you guys talked about a little bit of this yesterday and pyramids and cones and cylinders. So do you guys remember? Now. Hey, shh. Okay, so what would this be? If it has, you guys can look at your look at your book because it shows the pictures in it. And I want you guys to raise your hand. Please raise your hand. If it has a square bottom and it has a point at the top, what would this be? A square bottom and then it has a point at the top. What would it be? Hey, shh, raise your hand, raise your hand. I'm going to give you guys a little think time. I want to see a lot of hands raised because you guys can look at the picture. There's pictures on 146 that helps you guys figure it out. Hey, shh, we're help, help you guys look at it. So square at the bottom, point at the top, and straight sides on the edges. Nicole, pyramid. it's a pyramid. Okay, so now we have this one. It's a circle on the bottom now. Circle on the bottom and straight sides and a point at the top. Little thing time. If you know, raise your hand, don't say it out loud. Hazel, what is it? It's a cone. And now, look at this one. What is this? I don't know. Look at on look at it on your sheet. Oh. Ashlyn, what is it? So, what would this be? It's a it's a dice. But would this be cube too? Remember, you guys, this is a square, but because it has four equal sides, square is flat and a cube pops out. So a cube is a cube is something you can hold. And what would this be? A ball. A ball. But what would you call it? A basketball. This is a basketball. No, it's a cylinder. That's what Colin called it. This would be. No, hey, just wait. No, hey. No, it's not. It's not a cylinder, guys. Sylvia, or not Sylvia, sorry, Savannah. A sphere. A sphere. A sphere. So, what would this be? It's, it's, a, it's a cup and a can that are metal or this. Autumn. It's a cylinder. So, so this. Oh, I don't know if that would be because it doesn't. Yeah, this. This would be a cylinder too. Yep. So it doesn't. It doesn't have to be metal. As long as it has. What about the cylinder? The neighbor. No, that wouldn't be. It has to have. It's round like this. And it has two flat sides like this. It has two straight sides and it's round like this, okay? And what would the globe be? A cylinder. You guys, it's been back there the whole year. A spear. A spear. Hey. Shh. Yeah. Sydney, what would it be? A spear. It would be a spear. So. 
what shapes come to a point that we talked about? You can look at your you can look at your paper. What shapes? There's two shapes that come to a point. What shape? You can't see that little print. What shapes come to a point? Brayden, what's one? Cones. Cones come to a point. Sylvia. Pyramid. pyramid. So a cone and a pyramid come to a point. No, nope, we're just talking about the ones. I'm gonna this here. The ones that come to a point like this. Yep, those ones have corners. So you're right. Those ones do have corners. But well, we're just talking about the ones that come to a point like that, okay? That are flat on one side and then they come up to a point, like. Yep, we're talking about like this, how they come up like that. We know that the ones have points like this, but that come up like that, okay? Can I see that? Can I feel that? No, we're not going to do this because then everybody's going to want to, okay? You can't see that, that little. Okay. Which shape has no flat surfaces? Um, Carter, what shape has no flat surfaces? Square. Nope, square isn't even on there. Yeah. What has no flat surfaces? Like, which one doesn't have any flat surfaces? Yep, so which one has a circle on there? Yep, you got it. Yep, you're right. So this one? So sphere. Sphere. Yep, you're right. Sphere has no flat surfaces, so it doesn't go straight and down or up or any way like that. So, nope, that was the only one that doesn't have a flat surface. So we have a cornflakes box. Cornflakes box is the picture. So what, what shape would that be? A cornflakes box would kind of be, she used to have a box here, a cereal box, but I, couldn't, I think she took it home because we did something with it. A cornflakes box would kind of look like this, the cereal box. It's only bigger. It's only, bi it's just bigger. Yep. Yep. You guys gotta raise your hand. Okay, so it would be a little bigger than this. So what would it, what shape would this be? Bless you. What shape would this be, Gavin? Yep, it would be a rectangular prism if I had a cornflakes box because it would be kind of like this. So right, you can write rectangular prism. Um, yep. Yep, you're gonna be rectangular prism. What would that be? Now look at your pictures on the other page, Bryce, and find a shape that matches. Autumn. That. What would the third one be? A sphere. A sphere. So look on the next page and match, ugh, match it. So match the spelling because it is, the spelling is right there, the correct spelling. So you don't have to guess how to spell it. Yes. So you don't have to guess how to spell it. Hey, Carter, since the rest of us are on number four, can you tell us what number four is? Sorry. Over there. Okay. You can you can say it. Spell or sound it out. No, the O makes or the E makes the O say its name. Yep, cones. Good job. Hey, Colin, did you erase it? Just wait for us to get there. We just have one more to go. You're fine. Yep, you're right. Cones there. 